Hi, Soj 357. We are going to do the last thing we need to learn how to do so that we can finish our homework. We are going to learn how to recode a variable. So I have Stata open here. I have the general social survey open. The first thing I want to point out is when we are recoding data, don't save. You want to have a pristine copy of the general social survey data on your computer. You don't want to make changes on that. So you can save as, I went up to file, I think it's just outside of the, the shot of the video. I choose save as, and I'm just kind of adding my initials here to the name of the file. I'm saving as. So now you can see we have a different file we're using. We were using the regular file. Now we have this different one I've saved off. Now if I save, I'm not going to impact the the general social survey data. I'll always have that. Let's say I mess up and I accidentally make a bunch of changes to my data and then I save it and I don't save as. No problem. Delete your DTA file, go back to Canvas, download a new fresh copy. Um, so that's how to fix that mistake. Also, um, another thing you could do is just not save. So instead of saving as, I could just not save. When I close Stata, all of my changes will be lost. That's the other option. Okay, we're going to learn how to do this two different ways. First, I will show you the first way. And I'm going to show you the data that I want to recode. So I put in tab, sexual orientation, and it shows me there's three categories here, gay, bi, and straight. I want to change this so that there's two categories, queer and straight. I want to lump together all my gay people with my bi people in one category, and then I want the second one to just be all the straight people, just like it is now. Step one, create a new variable. First I'll show you, the variable queer does not exist. I'm making it up. The command for that is gen or generate. And I'm telling it to create queer as a new variable and make it exactly equal to sexual orientation. Just copy everything. I hit enter and it says 233 missing values generated. Now if I try to look up queer, you can see it's giving me the exact same data but it's stripped off the labels. Now it's just telling me one, two, three. And we know that one is gay, two is bi, three is straight. The next thing I want to do is recode it so that I just have queer and straight. So the command is recode. I have to tell it which variable. And then I say, take everything in category two and make it one. Take everything in category three, put it in two. So you're always putting the old variable first and the new one that you want it to be second. Hit enter. It made a lot of changes, it says. Now if I type in tab queer, we can check our work. Before, between one and two combined, there was 110. Now they're just lumped together in category one. That's exactly what we wanted. Category three here was move to category two, which is also what we wanted. So that's great. Next up, add labels. This is how we add labels. The command is label define queer label. So it's the name of my new variable plus the word label. One, queer, two, straight, which of course corresponds to I want one to be labeled as queer, two to be labeled as straight. Hit enter. Okay, that was step one of two. Here is step two of two. So this has it save off these two answer choices as queer label. This one here is saying, I want you to take those two choices and make them the values for the variable queer. Label, values, queer, queer label. I hit enter. Now if I do tab queer, you can see that it put queer and straight on here like I wanted. You can also see that it is taking the name of the variable and putting it in right here, but if I want it to have a fancier name, I can. Um, just if we were to look at the original variable here, 
there's the name of the variable, but then it has a longer name here that makes a little bit more sense, sexual orientation. So if we wanted something longer here, this is how to do it. I will say label variable queer, queer or straight. Hit enter. Now if I check, I can see that it put that right here just the way I wanted. So before we had sexual orientation, there was its name right here. It had three categories. There's the data, and I've successfully turned it into a new variable called queer, labeled it queer or straight, given my two labels right here, and now I have data that I could work with if I want to. That is the first way to recode a variable. Now I will show you the second way. I'm going to create another new variable. I'm going to call it queer1, just so we know it's the second version. And instead of saying make it equal to sexual orientation, I'm just saying gen queer1 equals dot. And that just means make it blank. Create a new label or a new variable. Don't put anything in it. And you can see it has 2,538 missing values generated. So if I were to try to look at it, it says no observations. It's fully blank. Here is how to add data into that. I will say replace. So remember before we were saying recode, there was already data and we're moving it around. Now I'm just saying replace queer one equals one if sexual orientation equals equals one. That's a tricky thing. The first one has one equal sign. The second one has two equal signs. I hit enter. Remember there were 45 gay people in this survey, 45 real changes made. Now if I do tab queer one and spell it right, it only has this one category here. Okay, replace queer one equals one if sexual orientation equals equals two. So now we're telling it take all the bisexuals, add them to the same queer category. 65 real changes made, which is exactly what we wanted. And we can look at it. Now we have 110 people in that group, which is what we wanted. Last one here, replace queer one equals two if sexual orientation equals equals three. So now we're taking all the straight people and we're putting them in category two. 2195, that was the number of straight people, so that is what we wanted. And I can say tab queer one, and it gives me that data. So let's see if you remember how to relabel everything. The first one we're going to do is we're going to label the variable with a longer title explaining what it is. Label variable queer, oops, that's the one we already did. We're gonna do it for a new variable, queer one. And you can see that took. Now the rest of this is a two-step process. You'll remember label define, this time we'll say queer one label, one queer, two straight, hit enter. Okay, step two, label values, queer one, queer one, label. And now if we look at that new variable we just created, it's perfect, we've done it. So that is how you recode a variable in Stata. That is it. It's been fun, everybody, and I think I'm done making videos on Stata because you have what you need to do your homework, and hopefully you can. I hope this um, helped make learning Stata easier for everybody. Bye-bye.